Worst Theme Park Incidents, Part 10 June the 2nd, 2015 marks the infamous day of the Smiler Crash at Alton Towers, which caused two teenage girls to need leg amputations. But what really happened? The Smiler was operating on this day in winds exceeding 46 miles per hour, whereas it was stated by the manufacturer it should not be operated in winds exceeding 34 miles per hour. During this time, the ride experienced a fault, which caused the ride maintenance team to attend the Smiler to fix the fault. The Smiler was then closed to all the riders. At about 1pm, the ride operations team took the opportunity of downtime to add a fifth train to the tracks, in order to increase the throughput of the riders as there was a high number of guests in the park that day. At around 1.40pm, the fault was fixed and riders began filling the queue line again. During this time, the ride operations team sent around the newly added train in order for it to cycle empty. This caused the newly added train to roll back in the high winds. The next train was then loaded with guests and they sent this train out as normal. The ride vehicle then automatically stopped at the top of the first lift hill in order to wait for the previous train to clear the block. However, the maintenance team were unaware of the fifth train being added and only saw three ride vehicles on the brake run. Assuming a ghost train had caused the ride vehicle to stop, it was overridden by the maintenance team and the ride vehicle loaded with guests was released. As this train traversed the layout, it came into the same element as a rolled back stalled train causing the second ride vehicle to collide. 